So today we're going to talk about why do people buy? Why are people, you know, how do you sell online? Because I see a lot of people are struggling with this. Mm -hmm. And I've done some research on this. Uh, and even though the research, the people that I did the research with today, they are still dealing with the effect of the cause. And we're going to talk about the cause. So I have a really a nice, uh, it's a very short slide deck, only like five or six slides, but we're going to go very deep into the science of selling and why it's so important that you understand this and you bring these elements into your marketing on every landing page you do, every opt-in page you do, uh, every ad you do. You've got to think about these elements because if you don't, then people won't buy from you. You have to ask these questions about your product. And if you're promoting an affiliate product like Builderall, in this case, you have to answer these questions for yourself about this product. And I'm gonna ask you in the context of Builderall because you know what this is and um, actually Sally can answer this as well. People are obsessed with survival. That has to do with food, water, protection, your shelter, your house, and your money. Because if you have a lot of money, you can get all the others especially in today's world. If you don't have money, then you may, you know, you're going to basically trade lodging for food. You're going to have these hierarchies of needs. So your product has to help people survive. For me, Builderall helps me survive because I'm struggling with email marketing. That's my ability to reach my customers, my ability to quickly create a replay page, my ability to quickly explain to people clearly and concisely how do I deliver my content to you in such a way that you will consume it on an ongoing basis. So for me, it's all about survival with Builderall. Peter, can you think of something that speaks to the survival mindset? I'm actually going to bring up the, the Builderall sales page and we're going to go through where they're using the, these elements. But can you uh, speak maybe just for a moment about what you think would be a survival mindset with respect to Builderall? How does Builderall help you survive in the digital space? Well, this, it's basically everything comes down to simplicity. You know, so you want to keep your mindset simplicity. You want to keep uh, what you're doing simple. And Builderall also keeps... The, the building process simple where everything is divided into separate segments. You only really use what you need and you, you install what you need to use. You don't have to use everything that Builderall has. And it helps you to survive so this way you can stay relevant. It's, it's very, very comprehensive on what you can accomplish, whether it's just creating landing pages or, or if you want to do a full-fledged website or really just about anything that you need to do with the Builderall system can be done. And it keeps you, like I said before, it keeps you relevant and it also can help you to uh, promote anything that you want, whether it's your product or someone else's product or just a, uh, an affiliate type of thing that you want to do. So um, with, I like that B, that's very good. Or, or is that a Bitcoin? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I thought it looked like a B, a crypto, right? So, so guys, it behooves you to learn the different aspects of the Builderall system. Just worry about one component at a time, work with that every single day, and within two weeks, you'll have everything down and be able to really zoom through everything very, very, very quickly and, and have really, um, I would say, uh, the vast majority of the potential of this system um, ready for you because you'll know where things are, how things link together, what you need to do in step one, two, three, and four, all these different types of things. And you'll be able to, to do it without being intimidated because it's an actually a very robust system. So the initial person looking at it is like, wow, this is so much stuff and they don't do anything. So if you take one step at a time, learn the systems here and also come here, you know, you learn stuff over here as well and uh, start to use the system because you can't break it, right? And just start to play with it. And you'll learn everything very, very quickly. So about you, Vic. Yeah, thank you. So let's look at any of these words on the page speak to survival. This is their 
old homepage. And this is the brand new one that is the $1 trial, okay? And I'm just gonna compare the two. Is there any of these words that speak to the survival mind? I guess have it all, mm -hmm. I mean, you know? That really is, that really is, you know, about having something, right? Have it all. You know, full control. Okay. So we're going to break it down into these elements. So when you're designing your pages, like one, one of the, the big no-nos you don't want to do is you never want to post your affiliate links directly onto social media. That's a risk. Now, even though the company tells you to do that, that's only for people who want to sell maybe one or two units in their lifetime. Think about it. Builderall has more than 70,000 people, has more than, you know, 10% of those people are affiliates. Their business model is if everybody can sell two or three units, they're happy, they keep growing, right? If you're here today, you want to focus on selling two or three a day. Eventually, social media is going to catch on that you're promoting an affiliate product. And whether you're right or you're wrong, good luck in finding them on that. Uh, it's just not going to work. So what we're going to do today is we're going to build a doorway page or a bridge page that comes before this page. In other words, it's going to be what you promote to the world and you can post it on Facebook, you can post it on YouTube. It's completely kosher, right? We're gonna be using the tool to create this page and it's going to lead to that. So I'm gonna bring up my little notepad here, okay? And I'm just gonna copy down those words, full control and have it all. And we're just gonna start making sure that we have all these words in these categories. So let me move on to the next one. So survival is the first effect of the cause, okay? A lot of people actually say that this is, this is why people buy. This is the effect of why people buy, okay? Because if you've never been broke, you've never been homeless, you don't really have a point of reference of survival, okay? I've been broke, I've been homeless, I know what it feels like, so I have memory on my side, okay? I recommend everyone go through it once so you have a point of reference. Just don't stay there, <laughs> okay? How does your product help people feel better? These are feelings. The majority of feelings that landing pages, sales pages need is to make people feel happy, healthy, Alcohol makes you feel good. Afterwards, you might feel a little bit sleepy. You may go to sleep, okay? You have a quick drink after work. A few hours later, you get that sort of nosedive effect and you, you go to sleep and you can chill. Smoking has a similar effect for people. These are the number one things that people can advertise. And if you don't have these feelings in your ads, it's very unlikely that anyone's gonna to respond to them. You wanna paint the picture in the prospect's mind how they will feel and they feel good when you buy it. So like when I buy a piece of software, I wanna feel good about buying it, okay? And that's why you know, I, I put this little you know, birthday candle with a cupcake on it, okay? Even though it's totally unhealthy for you, it feels good to blow out the candle. You know what? It's not going to kill you to have one cupcake. If you have a cupcake every day, well, that's a different story. So let's go back to the web here. And let's look at this. Okay. What words here are feeling words on the sales page? This is the old one. This is the new one. Okay. I would say maybe quickly and easy might make you feel good. Um, but none of these are really feely words. Uh, uh, Peter, what, do you see any feely words here? I would say maybe stunning. Yeah. What would be some feeling words here on this maybe, page? Maybe sophisticated, maybe. Okay, sophisticated. Maybe. Um, 
stunning. What about need? Okay, so we can come up with some other feelings, like maybe their sales page doesn't have the feelings, but our page will. So how do people feel when they buy a great product? Are you satisfied? Exhilarated, satisfied. Um, well, the basic one's happy. Okay. Good. That's enough for now. So that's, that's uh, effect number two is how does your product help people feel better? Confident. Number three is how do people get better? Okay. How does your product actually do this? And this is, this is probably going to be more relevant with respect to this. Human beings have a natural craving towards self-improvement. Okay. But who else has actually achieved it? Can you show people how your product will help people them actually get better? not just feel better, but actually do the thing that is promised, like in reality, okay? Does it work? Who has it worked for? That's actually lower down on their page. Let me show you where that is. Let's go back to you can have it all. Okay, so here they're giving me proof. Okay, so here, this is it right here. This is the answer to that. Builder all is everything you possibly need to become successful online as a specialist. So my recommendation is when you're building your page, grab some of these testimonials from their page and just copy them and make them your own. Put them on your own page, okay? Basically more than 700 million emails sent, more than 100 million leads collected, more than 100,000 satisfied users, more than 500,000 websites published, okay? We're not just a platform, we're a community. Okay, that's the later need we're gonna get to. But, but this right here is in that, you know, can you actually do this? Can you help people get better? Okay? So the next one is looking good, okay? Makeup, can you help people look better, okay? And this is probably gonna be the simplest thing for you to sell to others because let's face it, the builder all websites, they look really good. The templates have the right balance of colors, they're professionally designed, and it helps you look better really fast. Other platforms, they look a little bit too marketing-y, a little bit too much marketing. They don't really make you look that good. Let me, let me show you one of, my, uh, one of my funnels that I built. Okay, I just think it looks great. You go to victorgrant.com, I can go improve it a little bit, like I could go in there and tweak it a little bit, but it helps me look better, right? I got my picture, learn the super affiliate sales secrets. It's very, very simple. My old website was way too complicated. It was branded to my company and it almost looked like my company acquired me. Let me just show it to you while it's loading. I'm going to load in another one uh, called um, launchnewsletter.info. Okay. So these are some pages that I've made. Okay. So this looks really good. If you had to hire a designer, you'd spend a lot of money just to draw these little, you know, these little clouds and these little things. But you've got to get it that 80, 90% of people online today respond to this fluff stuff. I call it fluff stuff because it has nothing to do with programming. It has to do with pretty colors, pretty pictures, very consistent graphics, lots of nice pretty shadows. Like, I don't know if you noticed, there's a shadow around this box, okay? It takes on average 100 hours to build something that looks good with good design, okay? I don't recommend that to anyone, okay? I know that because we have a design team that we do that in our agency. I don't like doing it. 100 hours is expensive, even at $75 an hour. That's $7,500 just to do the graphics and the design to do it well for a brand element. You have all this stuff done for you. All of your pages are kind of done for you. Yeah, this is my old site. It was really simple. I had my logo, had all my elements, 
but then it had a lot of text and it had a little opt-in in here. It was just too confusing for people. I think my new site is much simpler and cleaner.